Hello there guys and welcome to this short Xplane 11 video. It looks like many of you guys are having trouble setting up the GNS430 and properly updating the NAV database. I've received several emails on this, so apologies for those of you who I could not respond to. Uh, I thought of doing this short show today to show you exactly how to do that. So the problem is that the GNS folder is not in your custom uh, data folder by default when you install Xplane 11. So let's go ahead and set it up and then we're going to head over to the Navigraph FMS manager to update the nav database. The first thing you want to do is you want to navigate to your Xplane 11 installation, go to custom data, and as you can see we do not have the GNS430 folder here. So right click new folder and we're just going to type GNS430 and hit enter. And now we have the GNS430 folder. Now we need to install the latest nav database into this folder. To do this, we're going to head over to Navigraph FMS Manager. Once you launch the Navigraph FMS Data Manager, you should be able to see the Xplane GNS430 right here and it should read ready to update. If, however, you don't get this option when you launch the program, go to Add-on Mappings, click on Add, and then from the drop-down menu, scroll all the way to the bottom, and somewhere around here, there we go, we have the Explain GNS430. So what you need to do is select it and say Install into Explain 11 folder, like that. And now you'll have it right over here. So we have it already, so we're going to remove this one here and we're going to go back to the add-on list and we're going to say discard the changes. Okay, so now we're ready to update, so we're just going to click here on update and we're going to wait for the a new nav database to be installed in the folder. Once the installation is complete, you should be able to see that the Xplane GNS folder has now been updated to the latest ARAC database, which is 1708 at the time of making this video. A quick look at the GNS430 folder that we've created inside Xplane 11's custom data folder. Right here, as you can see now, we have the nav data, and this is the latest cycle info, it's 1708, which is the one that we've just installed. Well, this is it for today's show, guys. I hope that this was a useful and informative video. If you have any questions, please do post them in the comments section below. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.